Alright, this is a video I've wanted to do for a while now. Um, sort of a review video, sort of just, you know, go over my opinions on it. Um, so recently I've been able to get uh, all three major consoles. Um, I've already had an Xbox One, and then got a PS, uh, PS4, and then I got this later on in the same day, actually. And this, of course, is the Nintendo Switch. Which, let's go ahead and open it up. Hmm, actually opened it this time. So, this is the case I got for it. Um, Mario Kart case. I actually bought this before I got the game. But I do actually have Mario Kart. Um, flip it over, you got some storage. I've got a spare uh, USB cable in here. Um, battery life on the Switch. Not the greatest, but I guess it could be worse. Um... It's decent. It also depends on what game you play, what brightness settings, you know, blah, 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 all that stuff. Looking at the Switch, um, it's decent size. It's, I believe, a 7-inch tablet. Um, and, let's see, let's go ahead and put it this way. Just don't scratch the screen or anything. Here's the back of it. You got your little kickstand here. Right under that. I don't know if you can see. That is the micro SD card. Which is very helpful because I believe the Switch only has like 32 gigs built in. Um, I've already used up pretty much all of that. For like one game. And you see the stands out now. We'll go ahead and just let that sit there. As far as the games, we actually have them all out now. At least all the physical ones we've got. And for games, we have... Uh, let's see, we've got Super Mario Odyssey, we've got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 2, which I've been playing a lot of, and Resident Evil Revelations. Decent game. And let's see. Also, with the Switch, you know, you could play it in handheld mode, or when you want to, you know, hook it up to your TV or something. Can't get them off. There we go. Joy Cons disconnect, and then you can go ahead and put them in like its own little controller stand. It's really hard to do one handed, guys. And then you just go ahead and yeah, not gonna connect or anything. But yeah, you, it's a nice little controller stand. I mean, there's no added function to it, it just helps hold it better. There's also little grips that you can attach to the sides of these if you want to use, you know, one in each hand. But um, let's go ahead and we'll power on the switch here in a second. Okay, so let's go ahead and reattach Joy Cons. It's very easy, they just snap into place. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and turn it on. My camera lens, I thought that was a big air bubble right there, but it's not. I do have a screen protector on this, uh, because I do know that these screens scratch very easily. So that was like one of the first things I did. I believe the second day I had it, I went and got a screen protector for it. Let's go ahead and start that. You can see some of the games. Uh, we've got Splatoon 2, Outlast. Um, as far as set, whoop, no, don't put it in sleep mode. Let's see, system settings. System. You see, we are on the most recent. Was it five five oh one five point zero one? There we go. Let's get out of here and let's go ahead and launch. Uh, just so you guys can see the graphics on this, let's go ahead and launch Outlast. back as soon as this loads because this will take a little while to load this is just an intro video for at last or actually though this is the red barrel red barrels apparently that's what they're on let's 
see, go ahead and continue. Now I do have some load times are a little bit longer, but I really can't complain when you consider that this game, graphic wise, is pretty decent. Uh, it's definitely not you know the greatest thing around, but to see this run on a Switch is awesome. Still waiting for it to load. All right, and we're back into the game. Which Outlast is, of course, it's a first-person, like, horror game. Which you look through a camera and everything. There's our night vision. I mean, you see, graphic-wise, it's it's pretty good. Of course, I'm not, not going to really be able to play this one-handed very well. But, I mean, you get a general idea of, of how things look. Of course, your camera's got zoom. Um, you got your night vision and everything. But... Yeah, there's an overview of the Switch. Um, I honestly, I bought it just as kind of a random purchase. Uh, when I got my my federal tax check, I went ahead and bought a new TV. And literally on my way home, I had to pass a GameStop. And I was just like, hey, you know, why not? I was supposed to buy a Switch. Um, and I'm very happy with it. I started out with just Mario Odyssey. I didn't even know what games to get for this thing. I'm not really a huge Zelda fan at all. I can't really say if I am or not. I've never played it, but Breath of the Wild, I don't know. I, I still haven't got it for the Switch yet. I might eventually, but that wasn't really the big big seller for me. Um, Odyssey was what I wanted to play, and I love that game. That is an awesome game. So far, every game I've gotten for this thing has been awesome. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get some more games soon. Um... And maybe add some uh, videos of this to the channel. So if you all want to see that, let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching my overview, review, whatever you want to call it, of my Nintendo Switch. See you all next time.